Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So here I have a desk lamp. So it's a Xiaomi with a Mi Smart LED Desk Lamp Pro. The Pro is just covered. So I just got it like this. I didn't have any other boxing on top. I just put it on Amazon. It has quite a lot of awards. So it's all like 2019. You might be wondering why. This is because this product is from You might be wondering why I'm, I've just bought a brand new desk lamp from three years old, three years ago, where um, technology evolved so fast. Well, because this is arguably the best, best um, desk lamp in the market now. And um, Xiaomi has two ideas, the Mi desk lamp LED, whatever it's called, one, and there's the One S, which both look like sticks. And this is the new one, the Pro version. And there's also other brands, but they're not as good as Xiaomi. And the price point. So he has like some eye comfort and some Award winning, red dot award winning, and design award winning. And it's in Russian, I don't know why. I'm in Europe. I don't know why it's probably, I put it on Amazon, probably the guy just took from um, um, Russia. So um, you also have like a lot of different positions, and there's also a bunch of different, like, you can have a bunch of um, different, like, levels of brightness and also the warmness, like yellow and yeah, other stuff. And also, one good thing is it's has like all three of them as okay google amazon alexa and um apple home kit and these two are the ones i have so that's one reason why i bought this one here but you can also check on where you buy it from which country because um some will have all three and some only have like two and some other stuff at the bottom you can control with your smartphone and if you have an apple watch you can do it with that so let's open it Oh, okay, it does. Very, very much thinner than I expected. So here we have it in foam. Let's just turn around. So here we got the manual in the middle. So this is just a bunch of paperwork and the instructions. I might look at this afterwards to connect to my phone and my ecosystem. And there's some modes and some QR codes inside. This is another one that I don't think so I need. And this is the charger. So I have, I have a feeling that this guy scammed me with the old charger because this charger does not look like a Xiaomi charger. First of all, this thing already looks weird. And the photo on the images on the manual does not look like the same charger. And the, look at this. It doesn't look like the correct charger look at it you the correct the correct one has like a xiaomi you know the mi home logo and that's it you don't have like all this blah 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 and this i this really looks like a fake one let's go back to the lamp so now you might be wondering is there another color no there's only this white with the little silver so here you the desk in like position apple. plugged in like cool. after two but weeks only white. So i've been and using it most of the um, are no, more than two weeks it's like almost a month now plastic. and i really and like it it's quite heavy the on problem the bottom is and the laptop is quite the, light this problem on the table became, it's quite i thought i was going to get like used to it but i clearly didn't not heavy enough on this wackiness is almost quite cool and the cables are all white waggy here basically white and silver everything's waggy but um which i kind of like i don't like the red and red cables it looks cool but in the house it doesn't look good it sticks out too much so you can put really it's like not, not normal you put it really high and, up and but other than that the build quality is quite good metal metal i believe but this plate here i think it's plastic but this switch is definitely plastic and this is plastic which is a little concerning but the problem is the light i'll put it on super low you can see the plastic rims if I can't really see with the camera, but basically you see the plastic, since this is a plastic, which is, should be glass, it's like, it's not super flat, and you can see like the color of, you know, how the plastic, which is disgusting if you look right into the light. Okay, so this is how you do it. So it's quite cool. So as I can say, you can move it this way, which is extremely awesome. Um, the plug cable is not very long. This one here, all the way up here, and then this one here can go backwards and forward put it backwards so here you can go down it is this does not stabilize so you gotta put this manually where it is you can go down 
and then you have a normal. It says turn it on, just click it once. You can hold down and then turn to change the warmness. And then you can just turn around without holding down to change the brightness. And then here on my iPad, which is super cool, I can have this and you can just tap it and super instant. I have all my, I'm gonna turn off my other lights. So this is the only light in my room. Let me click this and the whole thing turns off. And it's really instant, super cool. The only problem, and this is this on the Xiaomi Mi Home app, the only problem with the Xiaomi Mi Home app is more laggy. So I turn it off. Now it works quite well, but most of the time um, it was quite laggy. Your Wi-Fi is super strong. But the good thing with this app here, after it loads, um, you can have that custom. We can just drag and it will be where it is. Which is quite cool. Or you can have reading mode, which is more white. Or you can have PC mode, which is more yellow. Or you have, um, yeah, you can add the other ones and a bunch of stuff. And then you can also have focus mode for like 10 minutes, 45 minutes, and then rest for 10 minutes and whatever you want. Which is super cool. But um, I tend to use this switch here, which is super cool to switch. I really like the detail and the design. It's super stunning. And um, on my watch, I can even do it. I can even control it with my watch, which is also cool. They can also move the other direction, like closer and further away from you, which is quite cool. And it's not, it's quite loose, you see, it's, it's, it wiggles a little bit too much, which I think it's not very good built. But for most part, it's very good quality for what you're paying. So just take this plastic off, and there's a lot of plastic wrapping. Okay, it looks cool. But it's very, see, the whole thing is quite loose. And it's LED light, so it lasts longer, but you can't change the light bulb. But you can adjust the brightness and the warmness, which is super cool. And here you got a little manual on the paper. Just take this off, and there's a QR code here for the Apple Home Kit, and there's the three basic steps. And I'm gonna scan this afterwards. So here you got the desk in position, plugged in after two weeks. So I've been using it, um, no, more than two weeks, it's like almost a month now. And I really like it. The one problem is the this problem became I thought I was gonna get like used to it, but I clearly didn't. This wackiness is over the top. So it's like waggy here. Everything's waggy. This PC here is waggy. Look at that. This is not not normal. And but other than that, the build quality is quite good. Metal, metal, I believe. But this plate here. I think it's plastic, but this switch is definitely plastic, and this is plastic, which is a little concerning. But the problem is the light. I'll put it on super low. You can see the plastic rims. I can't really see with the camera, but basically you see the plastic. Since this is a plastic, which is should be glass, it's like it's not super flat, and you can see like the color of you know how the plastic, which is disgusting if you look right into the light. Quite cool. So as I can say, you can move it this way is extremely awesome um the plug cable is not very long this one here all the way up here and then this one here can go backwards and forward so if you click it once then it um, turns it on or off and you hold down and turn it's for the um color and if you just turn it without holding down, it's just the brightness, which is super cool. On my iPad, this is the same if you're on the iPhone. This is the Apple Home app, and I can just tap it, and it'll just turn it off. First, let me just turn off all my other lights in my room. And here we have it. So now let's just tap it. Okay, so you see, it goes everything black. And it's quite instant, which is super cool. And there's also the Xiaomi Home app, which is a little more laggy, and I personally prefer the Apple's um, app. But um, here you have a bunch of controls, so let's just click it. And then you have off, and then different modes, and all that stuff. 
so it's, it's worth the same but in normally since the last two months it's been um like two seconds late or a little less so here are different modes so let's just put and you can just drag your finger around to have the color and the brightness just super cool and then you have reading mode which is more um white and then you have pc mode which is more yellow and you can just um customize it and you also have like focus mode for like 45 minutes and then 10 minutes break which is also super cool and a whole bunch of other features with the upper one you have less features but you also can control the bright, um, color that i just found out afterwards but you can just do it with the switch manually if you don't like it and you can also do the same thing with the apple watch if you have the home app on the apple watch which is super cool so here let's do it so let me go to my apps here the home app and we can just go in and then here it's already on you tap it turns off the little three dots and then you can change the brightness up down off and then you also can turn here if you slide it for the like the color and this is from the apple home app and i think the apple home app is more responsive and way better looking um than the um xiaomi app and that's easy awesome thing is same time i have it on all three apple devices i also can have on my um ok google so this is a sonos one with the ok google as you can see, this is the voice control. See, Sorry, oh. I don't understand. Okay, Google, turn desk lamp off. Sorry, something went wrong for the desk lamp. Yeah, it does this when you don't have really strong Wi-Fi because it's not really strong. And then if you say, okay, Google, turn desk lamp off. Okay, now it's off. turning the desk lamp off. You can't really see it because I have another light on. And this dude here. It's not relevant at all. So now let's do some testing. I'm gonna put it lower and then I have a glass scorpion here for the test. And it has a light reflection because it's glass and let's just see the different light. So now I'm gonna put on max. So this is how it looks. And then now, okay, Google, turn desk lamp to 5%. Okay, so now let's do the warmness. So now I'm gonna hold down and put on non-warm. And this is warm see changes thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to please subscribe share and like this video and watch some other ones bye